I had a few questions in my Halloween video last week about wood burning. More technically, it's called pyrography. Pyrography drawing with fire. I like to think of it as an affordable alternative to laser engraving and, dare I say, more fun. Instead of spending thousands of dollars, you can get a little kit like this for under $30. You don't need any special skills, you don't need a lot of money, or even a workshop to start making some really cool artwork. You can literally work on your kitchen table. It's fun and it's relaxing. Okay, sure, a laser cutter will give you more detailed and repeatable engravings, but I've seen some amazingly detailed photorealistic images made with a burning tool by people who are really good at this. With a wood burning pen, the quality of the results rely on the artist's own hand. Hey, before I get started, a quick reminder, if you are brand new to woodworking, you have come to the right place. And if you're thinking about setting up a small shop, I've got a free guide to help you get all the tools you need for under $1,000. Head over to mytoolist.com and download it today. You can use any kind of wood for wood burning, but naturally light colored woods are the best. You could buy small pieces of clear sanded pine at craft stores like Michael's. I'm gonna use some quarter inch plywood here. Open grain woods will make it tricky to get the fine details. It's also kind of hard to get the pin to move where you want it. It tends to want to follow along the grain. Oak, for instance, would be tricky to use. Before you start burning, sand the wood as smooth as possible to let the pin move a little easier. I find that 320 grit sandpaper does the trick. Unlike me, if you happen to be very artistic and talented, you can burn freehand, kind of like sketching. But most of us will probably need to follow a design or drawing. One way is to print out an image you like and then transfer it to your workpiece using carbon paper. If you can't find carbon paper or have never heard of carbon paper, you can fill up the back of your paper with graphite from a pencil lead. Then just tape it in place and trace out your design. It's pretty time consuming and a tedious method. I would only use this for the simplest line drawings. If you have a laser printer, you can do a heat transfer. I went to my local UPS store and used one of their laser printers to print out this. And then you'll iron it on using this special heat transfer tip on your pin. Make sure you reverse print your image if it has any text on it. And again, this won't work with inkjet printers. This method takes time and patience, and I think it's hard to get good results with this method, especially if you want fine details. This is probably best suited for pretty simple line drawings or lettering. But my favorite method is to use my inkjet transfer method. I think it's the fastest, easiest way to transfer images, especially if they have a lot of fine detail. Print out your image on the backer sheet for labels. You can learn more about my technique by clicking the link up in the corner. This is what I used for my Ouija board project last week. I think this method is almost foolproof. It's quick and easy. The only things to look out for are smearing the print when it's on the paper, and once you press it down, you can't move it around or it'll smudge. So I did a quick test here so you can compare the two different methods. This top one is the inkjet transfer and the lower one is the laser heat transfer. And clearly the inkjet method was able to handle much more of the fine details, whereas the heat transfer, I ended up getting lots of just kind of muddled areas. This is the pin. There are more professional versions that will cost you a couple hundred dollars that offer a lot more control and precision. But I think this kit has a great entry level pin and it comes with a bunch of tips. It has a temperature control you can adjust depending on what type of material you're burning. I think for materials like leather, paper, or cardboard, you need a lower temperature. But for burning wood, I just max it out. So basically, this is just a soldering iron. In fact, it even comes with some solder. And it comes with all kinds of pattern tips which just screw on to the end of the pin. But mostly I just use this one, the universal tip. You can use it as a fine point, you can make lines with it, or use it for shading, kind of like a marker. And you can change these tips as often as you need to, just use a pair of pliers to remove them when the pin is hot. Using the pen with the universal tip is kind of like using a marker. You can make fine lines or thick lines. And like ink, the longer you hold it in place, the more it'll bleed or burn deeper. 
Mostly this is all just a matter of experimenting and practicing with the pen. It's actually pretty amazing how much detail and realism is possible. You'll get better if you pull the pen rather than push it and keep turning your workpiece, kind of like you were using a scroll saw. For large areas that need to be filled in, try outlining them first. Try out the different pen tips and see what kind of patterns they make. You can even use the transfer tool if you like to make big polka dots. The tips will get gummed up with carbon after a while and it'll prevent them from burning as well. You can clean them with some 320 grit fine sandpaper. Just a few strokes will clean them up. And when you're all finished with your artwork, you can apply any kind of clear top coat that you like. My favorite, of course, is spray lacquer. Hey guys, I wanna take just a moment to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, Dollar Shave Club. You guys already know about their shaving sets, but did you know that Dollar Shave Club has tons more? They've got skin products, hair products, shower products, even oral care products. Basically, if you've got a body, they got stuff for it. Right now, they're offering their starter sets for just five bucks each. Check this out. This is the oral care set. It's a minty toothpaste and a rather weighty toothbrush. Let's check this out. I like how it, it says on the package, one toothbrush, so, so you don't get confused. Well, that right there is a fine looking toothbrush. Five bucks, and you know what? Here's a fun fact. Did you know that four out of five dentists surveyed agree that no matter how you brush your teeth, you're doing it wrong. But hey, let's don't forget about the razor starter kit. So you got your razor and shave butter. It's just like, it's just like real butter, only totally different. And you get four, cartridges. This right here is all part of my morning routine. Let's see, I got my coffee and I go out for a run and come home for breakfast, I shave, I shower, I brush my teeth, and then I go to work. Then I probably drink more coffee. Hey, join the club with one of their starter sets for just five bucks. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at regular price and you can choose your delivery frequency so you get what you need, however often you need it. Get this exclusive deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash WWMM today. Well, trust me when I say that I am no expert in wood burning, but it's really a lot of fun and I hope you give it a try. This video should be enough to get you started. Pyrography is kind of like a scroll saw in the way that a lot of people use it for creating standalone artwork. It's great for non-woodworkers and a super affordable hobby. But I think as woodworkers, we can incorporate wood burning into our bigger projects. Maybe you want to make a, an ornate custom decorated box lid or maybe add some pyrography graphic designs to some drawer fronts. The possibilities are endless, and I think wood burning is a great tool for woodworkers to add to our arsenals. Thanks for watching, everybody.